guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods on Minecraft 1.7.10 so there's a link in the description for Minecraft Forge you're gonna to want to download that it's going to be the mod loader that we're using that will actually load the mods that you place in the correct directory so there's also two other links in the description and one of them is the mod that I'm using and the other one is to the Minecraft forums website which has you know people who post their different mods and things like that so it'll make it a little easier to find mods and stuff so obviously I don't have you know a whole list of every single mod released so I can't really you know do that for you so you're gonna have to find them yourself but I do have the link for the one I'm using so after you've installed or after you've downloaded Minecraft Forge open it up hit run and you wanna go with install client you can also use it for different servers or extract the files, but what we want to do to keep things simple is just to use install client. That's just, you know, your Minecraft game. Alright, it's been installed. You have a pop-up like that, successfully installed client profile. Now we want to actually go in and, you know, make, or, yeah, we want to actually make the mod get loaded. So, we want to hit our Windows key and hit R. Or you want to go down to your start menu and type in run. You'll get that little box like this right here. You want to type in percent app data percent, just like that. Hit enter. And then you'll see this folder up top called .minecraft. Open that up. And you may, you may or may not have this folder called mods. If you don't, just go ahead and make a new folder and call it mods. But I already have a folder called mods. I've already done it, so I'm not going to make a new one. So once you have your mods folder, open that up and drag the mod that you downloaded into that folder. So you can see I have too many items now in that folder. Now let's go ahead and open up Minecraft and let's get the profile set. Alright, so when you open yours, you're probably going to have the profile say default or any other profile you set up. But you want to click on this little drop down menu. You want to click on Forge. Make it look just like that. It'll say ready to play Minecraft 1.7.10-forge.10.13.0, whatever version of Forge you have. Then you just want to hit play. It's going to load all the libraries, all your mods, all the stuff that you need to actually run it. Alright, so now if you go into your mods page, you'll probably see too many items right there. So let's go load up a world, and we're going to see how our mod worked out. Alright, so hit your inventory button, and you can see you have all this cool new stuff here. You have your different toggles and stuff up here. You have all these items over here. Like here's an item you can't usually get. It's just a block of water, but now I can. Now I need to get something to cover that up. Whoops. Scroll isn't working. This math sucks. There we go. Okay. So that is how you install mods. Now, I know some people don't really like to go through, find mods, install them, and stuff like that. So I understand that. And to make it things a little bit simpler for people, I'm going to make another video either tomorrow or something like that, or Friday, whatever. And I'm actually going to have a preloaded uh, jar file for you so all you got to do is just copy it in there and it'll have mods in it for you you don't have to go look for them you, got, you don't have to do anything like that I don't have it all set up yet but I will be doing that here in the future so it's just gonna make things real simple and you, uh, it'll have you know it's just like a mod pack basically let's just have mods there for you so I'm going to be doing that just to make things a little bit simpler and just to be nice like that I guess so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.